Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Rags to Riches starring Katarina Leverly. Now, before we begin today, I have to give you guys some kind of sad news. Unfortunately, I don't have enough viewership for the LP, and I lose subscribers almost every time I post a new episode, which, needless to say, isn't very good for my channel. So, my best guess is that this is because people who sub for builds and instructional videos don't want to see an LP. So, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do things going forward. I may just wrap up the series in a couple of episodes over the next couple of weeks, or maybe just give you guys highlights of milestones now and then as Katarina progresses. I'm not sure which way to go with it. So if you guys have any preference on that, either way, please let me know in the comments below. But in any case, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Now, Back to our girl. When we last saw her, she had moved into her new house with her own private pond out back and everything was going great. And she was greeted by three handsome men who happened to be her neighbors and one of which she happened to have met before and has the hots for, like really bad. And that's the oh so handsome Sterling Gardner. And fortunately for Katarina, he has the hots for her too. She just doesn't know it yet. But not only is Katarina's love life looking up, she's gaining riches at lightning speed now. She's releasing new music tracks all the time, and her royalty royalties are typically between six and seven thousand every week. Plus, she's got a bunch of hobbies now that are like side gigs at this point. She makes money every time she goes fishing. She makes money harvesting her garden on the regular. She also decided to get into beekeeping now, so she started to make some extra pocket change on honey as well. And then then the big one she decided to invest in a money tree and boy has that been worth the investment holy crap it gives her over 11,000 simoleons every time she harvests it like I need one of these in my backyard and so at this rate it won't be long before Katarina can upgrade her house again if she even wants to. Things are going very well here and the place is starting to feel like home now and she's enjoying it. She's enjoying the neighborhood, namely the men in the neighborhood, though she'll always love her island for sure. But there's definitely more happening here in regard to potential dating possibilities. And speaking of dating possibilities, a few interesting things happened since we saw Katarina last. So first, Katarina's publicist is always on her about getting out there to mingle with fans and all of this. And so he told her that she had to go out to the Rojo one coming weekend to make an appearance. And so she asked Danny to go with her and she did, but they barely saw each other because Katarina was swarmed from the moment that she stepped into the joint. Now, Sterling had heard that Katarina was scheduled to make an appearance at the Rojo, and though clubs weren't really his thing, he decided to go and see if he could talk to her anyway, just to, to see her, talk to her, anything. And so he watched a little bit from afar with her, you know, her with her fans and on the dance floor and all this, just in awe of her beauty. He just, just thinks she's drop dead gorgeous. And he thought she was a knockout in her day to day clothes, but in person when she's all dressed up, like she looked like a supermodel to him. So finally, there's a break in the crowd and he gets his chance and he felt like he was shaking inside and everything, but he still approached her and she was friendly and personable as always. And she talked with him just a wee bit longer than everyone else, as long as she could get away with before her publicist gave her that look that said she was spending too much time. And Sterling knew it wasn't the time or a place to monopolize her and it wasn't the right situation for a date, you know, to ask for a date either. So as much as he hated to do it after just a few minutes, he told her it was great to see her and then he was heading out. He didn't tell her that she was the only reason he was there in the first place. But she was delighted to have have seen him. She just kind of wished that she could have spent more time with him. But you know, she was on the job. So anyway, a few days later, Danny invites Katarina to go to the Spice Festival with her. But then Danny has to bail at the last second due to work. And so Katarina decides, what the hell? She'll go anyway. And well, wouldn't you know it, Sterling happens to be there. So at first, Katarina felt a little bit awkward about being there by herself. But then Sterling said he came by himself too. So 
perfect. They ended up hanging out. They even did the curry challenge together and they both failed it. Who cares? It was still a wonderful evening nonetheless. And at the end of it, Sterling got up the balls to ask her for her number. And he, so he was all proud of himself, you know, par- probably partially because she said yes. So he probably would have been devastated if she hadn't, but she said yes. So they exchanged numbers. And a couple of days later, Katerina had to do a fan meet and greet that her publicist set up. And her publicist told her that she could, you know, invite someone that she knew. And so she decided that this was a good excuse of an event to invite invite Sterling to that wasn't a date so that it wouldn't be too forward of her, but it would give her a chance to see him. And so he about fell out when he saw her name come up on his phone and he eagerly said yes, of course. And well, he calmly and coolly said yes out loud, but in his head, he was jumping up and down like a nine-year-old that just had gotten a new bike. But so she did tell him that she would have to cater to her fans. So she would be able to give him a lot of attention. But she said that she thought it would be nice to have someone that she knew at least a little bit there. And so he was happy to oblige and he went and they did manage a few minutes together. But of course, as expected, not a ton of time because her fans were there wanting her attention. And so a couple of days after that, just so happens Katerina went down to the pond near Darius's house. She wanted to fish someplace besides her pond and she thought, you know, she'd go out really early in the morning. It was still dark when she went and she wanted to see how the fishing was someplace else and and she figured maybe she wouldn't be bothered. And so she goes down in the wee hours in the morning and after several hours out there, she starts getting hungry and decides to make her way back home for some food. Well, y'all never guess who she ran into on the way home. Yes, of course she ran into Sterling Gardner he was walking down to the screeching llama to get a bite to eat and so he was so happy to see her too he'd been trying to get up the guts to call her and ask her on a date but he hadn't managed to gen up that much courage yet so they stopped and talked a bit and he surprised himself when he heard the words come out of his own mouth asking her if she wanted to join him at the llama for some food And she said she did, but she had had such a relaxing day fishing that she didn't want to hang out with him and a whole bunch of fans. She just didn't want to do the whole, you know, fan thing. And she didn't want to do the whole celebrity disguise thing and all that. And when she said that, he got a brilliant idea. He said, well, what about sausages at the park? And she said, let me go get changed. I'll meet you down there in a half hour. And so he was thrilled. So this was the first time they were getting together where it felt like a date. It wasn't an official date because it was kind of like a casual asking, hey, you just want to do this, you know, but it definitely felt like a date. And Katerina was wondering if he considered it a date. And Sterling on his end was wondering if she considered it a date. This would be the fifth time they saw each other in only a couple of weeks time after all. So... So they meet up the park and Sterling grills them some food on the grill and they talk and the conversation comes very, very easy. And she finds out that he has a pond in his backyard too. And so they're both avid fishers. And he also tells her a bit about his free previous career and moving to Windenburg to get rid of the rat race and San Myshuno and all that. He leaves out how filthy rich he is, figuring it's not really relevant right now. And so she tells him about her horrible ex-boyfriend that was arrested and how hard things were for a while. But she leaves out the fact that that she was poor and homeless for a while, figuring that wasn't really relevant right now. So they both have a love for the outdoors and animals. And so she tells him about her beloved island and taking treasure up on the long hike to the top of the point at Overlook Point at Overlook National Park. And he told her that he'd never done that hike before himself, but that he would love to do it with the most beautiful woman he ever met. And so she beamed at both a compliment and the prospect of them going to the park together. And again, Sterling couldn't even believe he said that. The words just came out without thinking. He's so riveted by her, but he could tell by her reaction that she didn't mind one bit. 
And everything was all going so wonderfully until the inevitable happened, of course. A fan saw Katarina and they told a friend who must have told another friend who probably told another friend and so on. And before long, half of the patrons of the Screeching Llama were outside clamoring for Katarina's attention. And so she gave Sterling a bit of a helpless look and he very graciously said, don't worry about it. You take care of them. And how about we plan on taking that hike up to Overlook Point next weekend? And she said, that would be lovely without hesitation. And this time she was sure it was a date. And so he left Katerina pretty much kicking his heels on the way home. So happy. And Katerina was in such a good mood that she practically gave her fans an on the spot vocal concert. And so that's where we'll leave Katarina for today. And boy, what a day it's been. There's definitely been some romance in the air. I don't know about you guys, but I'm looking forward to seeing how this date goes. And I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, comment, share, and definitely subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and hit that little bell for notifications so that YouTube lets you know when I release new videos. Thanks so much for spending the time with me today. And I hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.